Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us delve into the profound truth that a period of adversity is not the absence of God's presence, but a time to feel His presence more deeply and an opportunity for our faith to deepen and flourish. The Bible tells us in Romans 5, 3 through 4, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. In the crucible of adversity, our faith is not diminished, but refined. It's during these times that we are invited to draw nearer to God, seeking His divine strength and wisdom. Adversity becomes a classroom where the lessons of patience, perseverance, and reliance on God are taught. The Bible contains all we need as Christians to live in a hard and dying world. Consider the story of Job, a man who faced unimaginable trials. In the midst of his suffering, he clung to his faith, declaring, Though he slay me, yet will I hope in him. Job 13.15 Job's unwavering trust in God, even in the face of overwhelming adversity, exemplifies the transformative power of faith amid trials. Adversity serves as a spiritual workout, strengthening the muscles of our trust in God. Just as a tree's roots grow deeper during storms, our faith roots itself more firmly in the fertile soil of God's promises when buffeted by life's challenges. Moreover, it is through adversity that we often experience the tangible presence of God. When the waves of difficulty crash around us, God's grace becomes our anchor, holding us steady. Our reliance on Him deepens, and our faith becomes an unshakable rock in the midst of life's storms. We can look to Jesus as a shining example of how to bear up under adversity. In the Garden of Gethsemane, our precious Lord Jesus grappled with the weight of impending crucifixion. He prayed, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. Luke twenty-two forty-two. Despite the intense emotional and physical distress, Jesus surrendered to God's will. As Jesus was arrested, unjustly tried, and ultimately crucified, it seemed like the forces of darkness had prevailed. However, his crucifixion was not the end of the story. Three days later, Jesus rose from the dead, triumphing over death and sin. This victory over adversity is the cornerstone of the Christian faith. It symbolizes redemption, forgiveness, and the promise of eternal life. Jesus' resurrection serves as a powerful testament to the transformative power of enduring through the darkest moments and emerging into the light of triumph. In this way, Jesus' journey from the agony of Gethsemane to the glory of the resurrection exemplifies how, through unwavering faith and obedience to God's plan, one can triumph over even the most profound adversity. It also reminds us of the price Jesus paid to reconcile back to God those who are lost. Let us, therefore, not view adversity as something to be feared or avoided, but as a catalyst for growing faith. Embrace the trials, for they are the forge where our faith in God is molded and strengthened. May our response to adversity be a resounding testimony that indeed, in our weakness, God's strength is made perfect. 2 Corinthians 12.9 Will you trust Jesus today as your Savior? Thank you for watching.